Lesson 122 has several parts. First, we'll cover the laws of logarithms. Then we'll talk about the intersection and union of sets and Venn diagrams. Part A of this lesson on laws of logarithms, that's basically what I already explained in lesson 118. And so if you want to review that lesson, you can. I thought it was important to go ahead and explain those log laws of logarithms in lesson 118 instead of waiting till now. And part B and C, we'll talk about those together on the intersection and the union of sets. Let's just understand this by doing some practice problems. I've drawn two sets up there, set A and set B. In practice problem A, I want you to tell me what A intersection B is equal to. We're using some set notation, and that upside down U, that means intersection. So A intersection B, what that means is where both of those sets overlap. What numbers intersect or overlap in those sets? Or what numbers do they have in common, basically? And so just look at that. They don't, have, they don't, they don't both have a 1. They don't both have a 3. They don't both have a 5. They do have a 7 in each of them, and they do have a 9, and that's it. So A intersection B would be this set, 9, 7, or 7, 9. It doesn't matter which way you write those. So when you're talking about the intersection of two sets, those are the numbers that they have in common. Now find A union B. Union that's that symbol in the middle there. It looks like a U, so you can think of U for union. That would be all of the numbers in both sets, like uniting both sets together. You can think of it that way. If you united both of those sets, what you would have is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's no 6 in either one. Now there's a 7 in both of them, but we just write the 7 one time. There's an 8 in B, then 9, then 11. So this would be A union B. You don't write similar numbers twice, so you don't write 7 comma 7 and 9 comma 9. All you're doing is saying what numbers do both of those sets have in common. Here's another way to think of it. Think of just this group of numbers here, and we wanted to group up set A. That would represent set A, that red circle, and then this would represent set B. The total of all those numbers, that would be the union. See where they intersect, though, right here in this region? That's the intersection of those two groups, basically, and that's the 7 and 9. And when we describe sets in this way by a diagram, we call that a Venn diagram. And that's part D of this lesson. So look at those Venn diagrams, or the Venn diagram that I've drawn over there for practice problem C. And what I want you to do is represent M intersection N by shading in that region. Why don't you just go ahead and pause the CD, redraw that diagram on your paper, and shade in the region you think represents M intersection N. And so that intersection, or that region that would represent M intersection N, would be the region in between or enclosed by both M and N. And so it would be this region right here. And so that's all Venn diagrams are. They are just another way to represent a set and it helps you with understanding the properties of intersection and union. Okay, well that's all for lesson 122.